Industry A. Now, gets it back for Hamble again. Mitchell, Shields, Gibson, Hartung, Motlock doesn't quite get him down. Gets to Burton, gets to Shields, gets to Hartung, goes back, wait, Gunston back, Ruffy, kick a goal, Ruffy, go on. No, no, no. It's not there, Dave. Not today. It's a bit sad to see the champs like this, but it happens to everyone, doesn't it? Even the Roman Empire, right? <laughs> Hello, provincially, back in. I've enjoyed them so much over the years. That's what happens. <laughs> so the 13th time the Cats have kicked 11 or more in a term, the first time they've ever done it at the MCG. I've got to ask you, Lindy, is it sad for you to see Hawthorne like uh, this? Oh, I was happy to stay out of that conversation, Bruce. <laughs> so, I'll forget it. It's forget not it. completely upsetting right now. So as it was last week, the Hawks on the wrong side of an 86-point margin. Tui, they all fumble for it. They all want the same thing, but it's going to be the Cats who have a happy Easter. And the hole for the Hawks gets a little bit deeper. So they've got one perfect team this year and one without a win. Can you believe it? After a month of footy, four four and zero and four, 18th on the ladder, looking at everyone, as we've looked at them for so long, haven't we? It was a telling day. We came here expecting a response. We didn't get it. We saw Geelong play very well. They're a contender. They were terrific. A couple of blokes really stood up. And for Hawthorne, well, it's going to be a long, long year. It was an afternoon where we found out a whole lot. Geelong won in the end by a